The moon is just the right size and distance from Earth to cover the sun. What are the odds of this happening in a chaotic universe? Over Hello there, I'm Professor Feldman, and I'm on the moon. Screen! The moon is slowly drifting away from Earth. Calm down, Granny. The moon is drifting by 1.5 inches and 3.8 centimeters per year, about the same speed at which your fingernails grow. It was a lot closer in the past, when it had just formed, but because of tidal breaking, it is slowly going away from the Earth. Here's the Earth. Here's the Moon. And here's the Sun. Hi, I'm the Sun. But you can call me Colin. Quick, turn his mic down, he can go on Ah, that's better. The Moon is I? creeping away through ah, tidal yes. breaking. I'm the sun. Hang on, we need to stop everything. space and time here. The moon's gravitational attraction pulls Earth's tidal bulge backwards, whilst the gravitational attraction of Earth's tidal bulge pulls the moon ahead in its orbit, giving the moon a higher orbit. Goodbye, moon. Screens! Seeing the moon at night and not the sun is down to angular diameter. Angular diameter is the angle that the actual diameter of an object makes in the sky. In the past, when apparent size did not align, we saw more moon. In the future, when apparent size will not align, we'll see less moon and more sun. Luckily, the alignment is just right. At present. Why the sun and the moon are the same size in the sky is down to angular diameter and the fact that the sun is 400 times larger than the moon, but it's also about 400 times further from the Earth. It's not really that incredible when you get down to it. Jupiter gets these all of the time. So what are the odds of Jupiter having 80 to 90 moons? Four of its big moons can cause an eclipse each and every time they pass in front of the sun. As the moon's drifting away into a higher orbit, it will no longer cover the sun as efficiently as it does today. It's just a matter of time. The only thing that's really miraculous about this is that you happen to be alive at a time when you can see it. But that's a pretty large window. None of this is connected to the chaotic nature of the universe. It's more like one giant coincidence. Calculations of the evolution of the Earth-Moon system tell us that with this rate of separation, that in about 15 billion years, the Moon will stop moving away from the Earth. So there's nothing to really worry about, except that the Sun is going to die a solar death. Before that, in its red giant phase, in about six to seven billion years. But don't tell Colin. Well, it's time for bed. I will see you tomorrow. If you've liked this video, why not show your appreciation by hitting like and subscribing. Thanks for watching and good night.